So now we're going to start looking at kind of new topics in algebra. But first, we're going to do a quick revision of the number line and things like this. OK, so first we have to look at N, which is one, two, three, four and so on. They're the natural numbers. So the way you define that is all the positive. So they have to be plus. Positive whole numbers. OK, and um, that's basically the natural numbers. So if you see that symbol there, you know what that means. Integers then. Is basically so minus three, etc. All the ones that are here. So it's a set of all of these numbers, and um, and it's just whole numbers. Whole numbers. I'm going to say positive or negative. Positive or negative. And zero. Okay, so it should be zero. And the last one then is or, which is the real numbers. And like it says, it's just any real number. So we'll say not complex or imaginary. So not um, complex slash imaginary. Yeah, so that's all you really need to know. You just need to know those three sets of numbers uh, and what they all mean. So now we're going to start looking at the number line. So just, for example, if they wanted us to plot this, so I'll scroll down. If they want us to plot x is greater than 4. So we'll do a quick revision of all these symbols. So it's just a quick one. You don't have to be too worried. Um, and x is in the set of natural numbers, OK? So say they ask you to plot this on the number line, okay? So let's write that. Plot on number line, which they could ask you to do in the exam. Uh, and it's a kind of a basic enough thing, but it's something you might have forgotten. So I'll just go through it again. So we're gonna draw our number line, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, go 6, 7. Okay, so it's not all to scale. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to extend this on because it goes on forever. And they want us to plot x is greater than 4, okay? And it has to be a natural number. It means it has to be a positive whole number. So the possibilities are x, it can't be 4 because it has to be greater than 4. It can't be any of these because it has to be, again, greater than 4. So you're going to do close dot on 5, close dot on 6, close dot on 7. And then that arrow means that it goes on forever, okay? So every number after that, you're going to have a close dot on. And that close dot is important. Uh, compared to an open dot. So we're going to look at it, an example next that might have an open dot. Um, actually, not, not straight away. We're just going to look at a different one. So the next one we're going to look at is x is less than 3. And this time x is in a set of integers. Okay. And again, we want us to plot it on the number line. So we're going to plot our number line. It's going to go in both directions. Um, and we're going to label it like this 0, 1, 2, 3. Minus one, minus two, minus three, and um, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so this is our number line. Now let's plot x is less than three. I should just throw in number four for fun. X is less than three is again going to be a closed dot on everything that's less than three, and every every integer that's less than three, which is going to be two, one, zero, minus one, minus two minus three and so on close dot on all of these again close dot is important okay next example we're going to look at then is this one here it's going to be x is less than two this time x is in the set of real numbers okay this means it can be any real number so it can be i'm going to say decimals and square roots as well um, and i'll stick in fractions as well so it can be any of these numbers it doesn't have to be just be the whole numbers, it be anything in between. So the number line looks a little bit different. So again, I'm just gonna say it extends in all directions. Zero, one, two, three, and minus one, minus two, minus three. So this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. We'll go dark blue. Okay, so if x is less than two, uh, and it's all the set of all the real numbers, what you do is you draw an open dot on two to show that it goes up to two, but it doesn't in, uh, include two. And then you color in the line in a different color pen if you can. If you don't have a different color pen, then just shade it in nice and thick. But that means that X can be any of these numbers in between it at all. It doesn't have to be these discrete values, all right? Uh, and then the last example we'll just do quickly. Say, for example, if they wanted you to write a little purple, if they wanted you to write x is greater than or equal to minus 2, 
Okay, we're going to do this on the same number line. In this case, you do a solid dot on minus two, and then you color everything up because everything greater than minus two. Okay, it's so just the difference between, I'm not going to continue it, but the difference between the open dot and the solid dot. That's the main difference, really, um, for this. And that's all I really wanted to do for this one. Just the reason the, the closed dot, it means the two is included, or minus two in this case is included. The open dot means it can be any number up until two, but it can't be two. So, for example, x can be equal to 1.99999, and that still satisfies this rule. But the second it gets to two, it's breaking the rule. So you have to have an open dot just to imply that. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, we'll do a quick review of the uh, all of these symbols in the next few videos, but just a quick review of the number line there. Hope that all made sense, and we'll see you in the next few videos on inequalities.